Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says the man attempt to support the load of boards having the weight W and a center of gravity at G. If he is standing on a smooth floor, determine the smallest angle theta at which he can hold them up in the position shown. Neglect his weight. Um, okay, guys, so this is a bit of a tricky problem, and I actually have to look it up to figure it out, so don't feel bad if you have to look at this video to do it, because honestly, like, I really had to think about it, and I'm going to try to explain it the best way I can, okay? So, I've been thinking about this a lot, and okay, so this is the weight, right? And then we have a reaction at B and a reaction at A. That being said, you also have the angle theta right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. That's theta. Okay, so if we do the sum of the moments at B, which is equal to zero, and I'm going to assume that counterclockwise is positive, then this sum of the moments at B will be equal to minus 3.5 times F of A. So remember, we're here, right? We're doing the sum of the moments at B. Um, the first moment is created by this force F of A times this distance of 3.5 feet. Plus W times this distance right here. What is the distance equal to? Well, this distance is equal to 4 cosine of theta, which is the angle that we're trying to find, and 4 is this, right? So basically, we have a triangle right here. Let me draw it like that. And at this tip of this triangle is W, right? This is this. And this is 4 feet, and this is theta. So this distance is the distance that we're finding right here, which is 4 cosine of theta minus the distance from here to here. Okay, so I hope that made sense. So this distance is 4 cosine of theta. This distance is 3. And this is the distance that we're trying to find. So 4 cosine of theta minus 3. And that is equal to 0. And this is the part where it gets tricky because this is the only equation that we have, but we have two variables. So how do we figure this out? So just you have to imagine that you are this person right now. And if you realize that the weight, this is important to realize it, that the weight is in front of your right foot. If you think about it, I'm assuming that's his right foot. It could be his left too. The way it's drawn is funny. But if you think about it, the more this moves down, the more weight you're going to be putting on your right foot. The heavier and heavier it's going to get, and this is going to eventually want to tip over on you. So the more weight you put on your right foot, the less weight. So let me write a plus. The more weight you put on your right foot, the less weight you're going to put on your left foot. Th this foot is going to have to be holding less and less and less strength. Therefore, the minimum angle will be at F of A or your left foot holding no weight at all. F of A is equal to zero. Hopefully you're understanding this. And this is all because the weight is in front of your right foot. So it switches all the way to your right foot. So if F of A is equal to zero, and let me write this down, the smaller the angle, the lighter f of a. So if f of a is equal to zero, that erases that, and w times 4 cosine of theta minus 3 is equal to zero. So theta is equal to the cosine inverse of 0 over w plus 3 all over 4. So theta is equal to 41.4 degrees. 
and this is the final answer. Oops.